Hello friends, in today's video tutorial, I am going to show you how to create display ads in AdWords account. So to first start with this, we have to first log into AdWords account. So I hope you can see my screen. So I am onto the AdWords account of mine. I am already logged in. So what do you have to do to create your display campaign? First you have to click to the plus campaign tab. Then click to the third option, display network only. And I click to this one. So now this page will open. So what I have to do first, it's showing me all feature here, display network only I choose. Then the campaign name I am giving is the same name I am giving, display network ads. So then what we have to do next, you have to choose a location where you have to target your ads. So let's say I'm assuming that I have to target my ads to whole India, so I'm targeting India. Next step is to uh, select the bid strategy of yours, whatever site you are promoting. So in bids, a uh, few things I would like to tell you. You will see some of the options here. In display, two major options we get in bidding. First option is CPC. CPC is like same which you use for the search network that for the clicks on your ad, Google will charge for impression, no charges. So the CPC function will work like the same. It works in search network. And for the CPM, CPM means cost per thousand impression, cost per thousand impression. It means that only for the impression Google will charge, for clicks on your ad Google will not charge. And one CPM, Google assumes that you have to bid for the one CPM, one CPM is equals to thousand impression. So you have to bid for thousand impression, like whatever bid you are bidding. 50 rupees, 60 rupees or 100 rupees and accordingly Google will display your ads. So CPM, and in CPM, Google will charge for impression no matter user is clicking on your ad or not, only for the impression Google will charge, right? So you can choose it accordingly and what Google actually recommend as per their notes is that CPC model used for if you're looking for the direct response. So if you're looking for the direct response, use CPC pricing model. If you're looking for the brand response, if you want your reach to be at extended level, then I would request you to use CPM because as per notes, Google says that you will get maximum reach if you will use CPM bidding. So the impression you will get frequently on daily basis. And CPC for the direct response if client is asking for the conversions also according to the cost because you have to maintain cost as well, conversion cost. So use CPC. So this I shared with you because if you are going or preparing yourself for an interview, so they ask you these questions like uh, which price model you will choose according to our requirement. So you can accordingly answer uh, the question, right? So here what I'm doing, this, this is the option focus on click use maximum CPC bids, it's for the CPC, I will manually set my bids for click. So whatever, if you will choose this, if you will click to this radio button, so like uh, CPC pricing model will work and you will see a tab here, it's by default, whenever you will create a campaign, you will see this checkbox is by default ticked by Google. This means it's enable enhance CPC, this means means that if you are setting up any bid of yours, let's say I'm setting a per click cost, 10 rupees, 10 rupees I have set it up. So what, by enabling this function, what Google will do, Google have a right to increase your bids up to 30% on performing keywords, performing I mean to say those keywords in which you are getting conversion. For that conversion tracking code is must. You can see it is asking for the conversion data, which you will generate once you have a conversion tracking code enabled in your campaign. So eCPC function is, he will increase, Google will increase your bids without your permission up to 30% on performing keywords and can reduce bids up to 100% on non-performing keywords. So this function means that Google will pro means adjust more budget on your performing keywords and reduce your budget on non-performing keywords. So by doing this, he will adjust your bidding and try to generate more conversion as you choose this option. So this is all about enhanced CPC. So like many of the interviewers, they ask what is this eCPC? So it means enhanced CPC. So you can accordingly answer. And this is the option for impression. If I'll choose this option, it is giving me an option use maximum CPM bids. That means for the impression, if I want to opt pricing. And again, in CPM, it will give you this option enable viewable CPM. This means with active view reporting. This 
viewable CPM means that if any user will see your ad, then only Google will charge you for the impression. Let's say I'll give you one condition. I'm assuming one figure that on way to SMS website, my ad is running. What is happening? My ad banner is at the footer of the page, but the visitors who will come on the first fold at the time of when you open that website, he not go to the footer part. So he is directly closing or going out from the header part only. So he is not he not actually seeing my ads in footer. So what Google will do for that impression, Google will not charge. So like this, this we will CPM will actually work. So if in case any user have seen your ad by scrolling page up and down, then only Google will charge if in case that ad of yours is visible to that user on that particular website. So this viewable CPM is very important. If you are preparing yourself for an interview, you can add an ad as a good point that for CPM, I will use viewable CPM. That means only for a um, impression, only for an impression which user will watch. So then only Google will charge for an impression, else not. So this is a very important feature Google have recently added up. So you can use it. So what I'll do, I'll use CPM option. Let's say I'll use CPM option and for impression I'm charging and this is for the viewable CPM. It is asking me for the budget. Let's say my per day budget is 500 rupees and then the delivery method accordingly you can set standard or accelerated. So whatever requirement is. One more very important option if you're using CPM bids. The important option is here. In advanced setting, you will get a one option frequency capping. It's a very important um, like tab or a function you can say and interviewers 100% ask on to the frequency capping and plus you will get a question in certification also for frequency capping. Frequency capping works if you are running your advertisement on Google partner website and uh, to limit your ads to a user, uh, then we use frequency capping. Let's say on way to SMS, my ads is running and one user is coming every time on that website. Let's say he is coming, he is opening that website 100 times. So for 100 times, Google will not charge me. And uh, what I'll do, what I'll do, I'll put it up here a value 10. So only to a single user on one website or on partner websites, it will show 10 times my ad. So if 11 times somebody is coming to any website and if he will open that website, Google will not show my ads to him because I have set it up a capping, a blockage I have set it up 10. That means after 10 times, it will not show my ads to a user on any partner website. If my ad you are running, if I'm running my ads on Gmail at the header part, so in a day, if I'm logging every day, let's say 15 times, 20 times, as I've set it at 10, 10 impression blockage, that means once any user will come 11 times onto the uh, same PC from same IP on that website, so 11 times Google will not display my ads to that uh, user. So it's a very important function frequency capping. Accordingly, you can set how many times to a single user you want to show your ads. So like this way, you can set it up and then click to save and continue. So I click to the save and continue. Then it will ask you for the bid, viewable CPM bid for 1000 impression. Let's say I'm charging 100 rupees. I have set it up my bid 100 rupees. These are the three targeting options you will get. Display keyword, interest and remarketing, use a different targeting method. So display keyword is nothing but in this you have to add your business keywords and add it from here. And uh, on the Google partner website, those sites who are relevant to your keywords, Google automatically shows your advertisement on those websites. And interest and remarketing is you have to choose an interest category, like whatever interest category you are choosing. Let's say I'm choosing travel is my business product and travel I clicked and then I search. So these are the options I will get like these. So I have chosen up these interest category and what will happen? Um, relevant sites of these categories, whosoever relevant sites on which uh, like I want to show my ads, Google will automatically show my ads on relevant Google partner websites relevant to these interest targeting which I have set it up. So like this you can set it up your targeting and what I'll do, I'll choose display keyword first. I'm adding some of the keyword. Done. Then click to save and continue. Then create a normal ad. So 
so this is the add I'm designing Done. when I'm entering a domain of one of my client it's done destination URL is also the same done then click to save ads that's simple then after this I will show you how to create image ads click to the plus add option then option is coming image ad enter your website URL here then create an ad or if you have any image which you want to upload so you can upload from here so I'll create click to create an ad it's a simple way to create an ad without the help of designer you can create ads and Google automatically picked images from your website so let's see how it's showing me So these are the templates you can see so some of the nice templates I got choose accordingly one template so let's say this one is good so what I'll do if I want to edit the text which um, it's showing me displaying me onto the image what you can do you can click to update ideas and this is the like description and the text which is coming call toll free now refresh so you will see like on everywhere it will change call toll free now call toll free now you can see like this so let's say I'm finding this one is good so before this check all the variation in all the sizes like how your ads is coming it automatically breaks into the all the dimensions into the all the sizes so this template I'm choosing now so click to select I have already checked all the variations so now what you have to do click to save so you can see all the ads next step here so this is the ad which I saved and Google automatically show this ad into all the different different extensions and after some time your ads will go approved let's say in 2 or 3 hours by max your ads will go approved and then it will go live on Google so like the same way you can create your display campaign or ads so this is what I would like to share with you in this video. Thanks for your time.